Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me for this week's reading. I will be working with the Psychic Tarot. Hope 2020 has started off on a good footing for you. And as always, these are general readings, so the reading may or may not resonate with you. Having said that, let's get right into the reading. Let's see what messages are coming through. Okay, let me just... message for the collective spirit giving messages for the collective that needs to come through for 2020 <sighs> um you know what what i'm tapping into is this feeling of being overwhelmed with all the worldly issues that are going around right now um, and you know are concerned with what's happening with the world and why why are we going through so many changes and things like that what i'm getting is you know earth also goes through a lot of purging so uh, mother earth or gaia there's a balance that is always there and when that balance is off earth has its own way of purging just like our bodies you know when you put when you ingest something that is not good for your body you will you will either you know you will dispose that in some shape and form right you will spew it or you will like there will be some form of clearing that your body will do to dispel that thing so in the same way there has been a lot of energies that are not serving and for for decades like the earth has been there has been so much of imbalance that the earth is going through these changes right now that we see and even through even through this craziness and even through all that that is happening there is a form of order there is a form of order what i want you to do is not give in to the fear and send light to, to those parts of the world that need light, okay? And I think it's collectively opening opening our hearts up. It's opening our hearts up. That's what I'm feeling. So let me get to the reading. That's a lot of cards. I'm just going to put that back in. Spread, please give me messages for collective. I'm feeling a lot of changes for most of you guys. But let's get to the reading. Okay, so the first card we have is Fertility. That would be the Empress card in the tarot. Uh, but I'm just going to read this intuitively. I feel like you're giving birth to a new idea. You're giving birth to something that is very close to your heart. Whatever it is that you want to give birth to, has the potential to grow, has the potential to expand, has the potential to touch many others. So it's it's not just what you do for yourself, it's like what you're bringing, the energy that you're bringing out for the collective. And this is the space that you are in, okay? The space of balance coming from your heart center for following your truth. And uh, I'm also getting that it's going to make you financially abundant as well. So not only will you bring your dreams to fruition, you're going to bring like you, you are a manifester. With this card, you are manifesting. Whatever it is that you want to manifest, you have the power to bring it forward. You have the power to create that. Now, interestingly, we have this deception and envy card right next to it. So it's like, She's standing here and this deception and envy card is right next to her. And this, you know, this fellow here is looking directly at her through the mask. So what I'm getting is even if there are people who are not happy about the changes that you are making, even if there are people who are envious of your position, of your power, of your intellect, of anything that you are creating for yourself, I feel it will be futile. And I'm not just saying this because the Empress, okay, the Empress in the tarot is one of the most powerful 
with the emperor she's one of the most powerful positions in the tarot so i feel that even though there may be some people envious of you envious of what you have <clears throat> excuse me envious of what you have created for yourself they really can't do much they really can't do much besides watching you from a distance there's really not much that you can do because with this empress card you are truly truly in your element and when you are in your element guys when you are in that frequency and that vibration you are we are all co-creating we everything is energy everything is vibration now whether you create something beautiful or you create something disastrous it's all a vibration right so with this card, because she is the Empress, I feel like you are truly in your element. You are truly in your power. You have mastered a lot of things. You've come a long way on your journey. And even if there are people who want to bring you down, even if there are people who have some tricks up their sleeve, they, they can't really push you off the pedestal that you are standing here with this empress card because this is this is divine energy okay you are divinely protected you are divinely guided whatever it is in your heart is also what the divine wants for you and wants you to bring forward so this is this is a very powerful place to be whether you're male or female this is a very powerful place to be so we're not going into gender specifics here if you are a male watching this and if this resonates with you then this is your energy as well now the third card we have is prosperity begins this is the ace of pentacles so definitely we're talking about abundance but we're also talking about financial growth we're also t talking about expansion. So if you're thinking of business or anything, um, you know, collaborating with others or, um, you know, expanding your business over the internet, okay? You have, there's a great potential here. There is a great potential here. Whatever this idea is, see, there's a seed right here. And this is the idea. Whatever this idea is, it has the power to bloom beyond anything that you are expecting or envisioning in your mind right now. And I feel this is a new chapter. Now, this reading is so beautiful, but this card is right smack in the middle, the deception and envy. But I'm feeling, with this card, I'm almost feeling it's powerless. And when I say that, I mean, she knows who she is. She stands in her power. Her energy co-creates, okay? So whoever is watching is probably learning from you, is probably envious of what you have created for yourself, but they can't push it aside because this is, this is divine. This is what what you, it's like your soul contracted this path for you. So they can, they can watch and they can wish and they can plan tricks, but it's not going to work. And I'll tell you, the last card is hope. With this card, I feel you are so protected by the divine. Like if you see there is, there is a figure inside this ball of light. And I feel this is the hands of divine holding you in this ball of light. And guys, this is what I'm telling you from my personal experience. When you have spirit on your side, when you are working for the light, no matter what anyone plans, no matter how, you know, they want to just steer you away from your path, they cannot do it. They cannot do it because this is powerful because spirit is on your side. And when spirit is on your side, nothing, I mean, nothing can come in the way. So even though when I look at this, these cards, you have the Empress, you have the Ace of Pentacles, you have this beautiful hope card. And 
we have the seven of swords so for some if you've had people in the past that have tried to manipulate and pull you down it's not gonna work anymore guys it's not gonna work you, you're on a new pathway you are on a new pathway you are protecting your dreams you are protecting that which is very close to your heart and you are protected by spirit you there's a lot of hope with this card hope okay and again i'm looking at the number one seven that's eight and again you're on a path of abundance all i'm seeing is abundance 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 and abundance doesn't only mean money abundance is feeling rich inside when you feel rich in your heart it doesn't matter what's in your bank account it, you are feeling rich you are exuding that energy and that is the empress energy but i'm not saying that you know there's not going to be money in for you there is going to be money especially with the ace of pentacles here with the prosperity because definitely you're on a positive path and i i love this reading uh you know especially for the first week of 2020 you're on an upward spiral okay you're on an upward spiral and most probably that for me this card is people looking at you from a distance and wondering how did you do what you did for yourself how did she or he create this for herself or himself and why am i in this sluggish space so even though they are envious or you know they're learning from you the empress is the nurturer she's the teacher she's the guide she's the healer her energy just being in her energy is healing so this is a beautiful start to the reading and i wouldn't be bothered by this card and if you are aware that there are people in your life that are wearing masks or don't have your best interests at heart then i would say pay attention pay attention to your own intuition because your intuition will guide you but you are definitely protected look at the light here look at the lights here nothing can come in the way okay and you also have the power to send light to parts of the world and even to people who are feeling like this. You have the power to send light, to send a prayer, to bless them on their path, and then bring your focus again on your path, on your new beginning, on what is that you are creating for yourself and the dreams that you are protecting, that you are nurturing, that you are growing, that have the potential to expand beyond your wildest imagination okay so that's what i'm getting with these cards hope you enjoyed the reading i wish you guys the best so i will see you next week thank you so much for watching and subscribing have a good one